Here we're going to do the word solar system in Chinese. Words solar system, term solar system. Now, uh, the first thing we just got to quick look at quickly is we got an ST. As we, as you can see when you look at the descript alphabet, there's special versions for the word for the combos ST and TS. The T can also come in this form. It can be this, this, or a reverse S curve, and that is specifically designed towards ST, TS. As you can see, and you can go ST, 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 ST. <laughs> You can continue it as much as you need. There actually are some instances where, uh, for example, insist has STS. And then I believe there's also some words that have four in a row, STST or something like that. Okay, so let's start with the word solar in the simplest possible combination. S-O-L-A-R. Now let's uh, clean this up a bit. First thing, we don't need that really. We can just kind of go, go out with the A and connect the R onto the far end. Um, we could smooth this up by going like so, S-O, solar. So we've got it down to one, two, three, four. So four strokes, or three lifts of the pen. Let's see if we can get another one out of there. Actually, the more I think about it, the more I realize we can't. But there's one other thing we can do. O plus L goes in here. L is, the core part of the L is actually just this horizontal dash part. The line down the middle is just for connection. So you can just put the dash directly into the O. And what we could see is S-O-L-A-R. Now, one thing we might want to consider in this, in this instance is we're looking at the word solar, um, sun, spherical. I kind of like this, this circle we got here to work with. So let's try to put more and more letters into that O if we can. Putting letters in an O is a little more difficult because unlike with the E and some other letters, you have to stay away from the edges. As soon as you touch an edge, it can start to make it look like an E or something. So you have to make clear that nothing you build inside the O touches the edges. So we're going to need a pretty big circle here. Let's start big and then figure out what we're working with. So when you use just an L, you can put that. But once you need to start connecting letters below it, you usually will need this, a connection point. Or you could you could simply put the L like so and then directly draw the AR. That works as well. Actually, that doesn't look so bad. Let's see what happens if we connect them. That's not bad either. Um, it's a choice, which one you like better. Now, the other thing we're dealing with is we're dealing with the sun. We could try to pretend that this S is some kind of solar flare or something coming out of the sun. Or the other thing we could do is we could we could, as I've done before with other words, first draw your circle. So we're dealing with a sun. We like our circle. It's not very circle, but it's enough. Um, we'll draw our L, A, R inside. Now, what you can do with an S is you can actually do this. Because it's a curve and a circle, let's just wrap it around the circle, basically. It's a little. It's taking some real artistic um, liberties here, but anybody who knows Descript will look at it for a moment, probably ponder it for a second, and go, you know, the only thing it could be is an S, but it will confuse the mind at first for a moment. But that's the thing about Descript. You can get creative. You can start to draw letters in ways that take a moment to process, but they can look extremely logographic. So we've got the word solar here. It kind of looks like a sun. I like this one. I'm going to stick with this one for this version we're doing here. System. Now, system, how would you make that logo graphic? I can't really think of anything that would represent a system, except for, you know, you got moving parts and interactions. So let's just start with the word and see what we end up with. Simplest combinations, S, Y. Now, the tail can be pointing in any direction you like. I'll put it that way for now. S, T, E, M. Now, we know that we've got the ST version, so let's try this again. S, Y, S, T, E, M. Okay, what can we do to this to make this look a little better? Is there any way to make it look graphic? I'm not sure. It kind of looks like maybe there's some process and this is being processed into this. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Let's First, let's make it a little prettier. What can we do to it? Um, well, we can rotate this and connect it through. So, S, Y, S, and we just go straight into our M. And we can put our E wherever we like. System. That's not bad. Well, what else can we do with this here? Um, we could put the M inside of the E, so we can go, and we'll put the tail that way this time. Not bad, not bad. Looking okay. Um, what else can we do here? Let's connect these two points. So we go, one, two, three. Oh, I did that wrong. And then we just have to add that. System. 
Okay, so we're starting to see some things here. The, the system word, it kind of looks a little snaky almost, and as if there's some kind of flow happening. Maybe you can play with it. Um, I can already see how I might be able to picture this as a system, but it really, the, it's an individual kind of very abstract idea here right now, so I'm not going to try to explain it. But anyways, system. So let's put solar and system together. Um, we've got O L A R S. Getting it the same Porsche ratio is hard, or the same. Solar S Y S T E M. Not bad. This could be more box like, and then I'm not sure what to do with it. But, anyways, we got a not bad couple symbols here solar system. 